Good morning, guys. We made a few changes around the house and I want to fill you in. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In a previous video, I shared that our AC had to be turned off. It was leaking and we had this big like vent thing and our ceiling was open. Well, we were without AC for about a week, maybe a week and a day. It was supposed to be like a week and then the person never showed up. And so we were a little disappointed because it's like, you know, I have a baby here and the temperatures were getting really hot. They were in the 90s outside and inside it was like, you know, 80 something degrees and we had the fans blowing and it was just like very warm for me. So anyways, we were a little disappointed, but we finally have the AC back up and running. So it's much more comfortable in here now. And also, uh, one of the guys came and kind of patched the ceiling, but today we're getting it painted. And hopefully, once it's painted, everything will like blend well color-wise. Um, you can kind of still see the little like rectangle that was cut out from the ceiling. So anyways, that's getting done today. And one of the cool things, though, was that the KB Homes guy was like, you know, I'm really sorry for the inconvenience. Ow, Aubrey. Aubrey, say good morning to everyone. Good morning. Okay. So anyways, the KB guy was... I want to say good morning. What is your day today? Good morning. What is your day today? Like, how is your day? No. What Mary's is your day? day. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what was I saying? The KB Homes guy was you know, really apologetic for the inconvenience and all of that stuff. So he was like, why don't you guys go out to dinner, go somewhere nice and like treat yourselves and we'll pay for it. So we can't, obviously can't go someplace really nice because we have the kids. I want to say, how do you see your day? Good morning. Okay, Aubrey wants to say something else. How was your day? Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Oh. <laughs> Uh, well, sorry everyone else, that's just for my mom. So before we actually went to eat, we went to at home for the first time because we got a coupon in the mail and I, Aubrey was running around, she was a very, she's a shopper. So let me show you guys a little clip from that little outing. This one is my favorite because this, this color. These little flowers and these cute. I like this one. Okay, find the next one. And here's that favorite one. This one is covered sucked up in little Mino features. Look how cute this is. <laughs> okay, where are we going Come next? Come on, this one is my friend. This one is mommy's. This one is Jack. This one is mommy's. Okay, and where are we going <laughs> next? This, this one is mommy's and this one is daddy's. This one is mine. Noah, so after at home, we went to Cafe Rio and we enjoyed like all of our food and Jack thankfully kind of fell asleep. And so we were able to just enjoy, you know, our food. And then he woke up and we had some fun with him then. So it was a nice little outing. And, you know, I'm very grateful that the KB Homes people like are, you know, accommodating and um, you know, trying to fix the problem and stuff like that. So that is going to be painted today. I'm waiting for the guy to show up now. And then since we were without AC a few of those days, I, I still tried to make progress on our house, but I wasn't going to film because I was like just in my nursing cami and like it was hot and I just was, I was not in a filming mood. So I did try to kind of organize my closet it's nowhere near done but it's it's better than it was before and since my closet is smaller it's kind of hard to film in there anyways so i may just kind of continue to show you the progress since it's taking me a little bit longer and then we'll see the final product at some point but let me go in there and show you guys my master closet now kind of how it's set up versus what it looked like a few videos ago so we're still moving some boxes in here but this table was originally on that wall so i 
thought that it would actually work better and I'll feel less claustrophobic if my crafting table is going to be here. And then we got like Juan's clothes on this side and then my clothes on this side. And I still have to go through a bunch of them, but you know, this is pretty much all that I'm working with right now anyways. And then I brought in some more boxes that were in a different closet that have a, like a lot of just crafting supplies, like vinyl and glue and paint and like flowers and you know just everything possible uh, is in those boxes. So I will eventually, you know, again, continue to organize this, go through things, get rid of stuff. We'll find a spot for these like recipe books because they don't really belong here. But, you know, this is where I envision doing my crafting. And behind all of this is my Cricut. I have my Cricut there. And it, I finally threw away the box. <laughs> I've had that box for years now. And it's like, it's time to finally throw it away. Which was definitely like a new feeling having moved here. Because like, same for my glass whiteboard. I always kept the box because I was, I knew that I was never like in my final home and it was a really weird feeling like putting it up and then throwing the box away. Same with my cricket. Like I kind of feel like, well, what if I need to transfer my cricket somewhere and da, da, da. I'm like, I just, I don't need the extra boxes. So it just felt weird getting rid of it because I've had it for so long, but that is something that I'm still getting used to getting into our hopefully forever home. I also went through, like I, I save pretty much every gift bag and tissue paper I ever get so that I never have to actually buy some. So I went through them and kind of organized them by like just birthday and then like seasonal, like, you know, uh, if it's a wedding or if it's a baby shower or Father's Day or whatever. And then, you know, just like tissue paper and things like that. So that's all organized in there for whenever I need like a gift bag or something like that. I also had some of the these little stickers from the Dollar Tree, the little wall decals that can easily come off, but I really liked the two on the end in particular, uh, and I just thought this was a cute little place to put it. it. Looks like they're on a shelf, but they're not. They're on the wall, so I don't know. This is temporary, I'm sure, and I like this one more than this other pack, but I just kind of figured Aubrey might have fun with this little you know, the wall decals here while she's taking baths. And I'm in the playroom now. And uh, so I mentioned like we took out a bunch of those boxes from the closet. Um, we took them out of this closet and we put in something here from our garage. So this is just temporary. I'll eventually put maybe the seasonal boxes of the toys or just organize some of the bigger ones on here, but just utilize this space since we're not really filling it up with clothes that, you know, go to the floor or anything like that. I also kind of just twisted this so that both sides can be like accessed a little bit easier and that the kitchen side, which is the more elaborate side, is more open to the rest of the room and we moved the grocery store over here just to kind of free up space. Obviously someone came in here and kind of messed it up before I could show you when it was clean but uh, these are some like old things I'm getting rid of and we still got to hang some stuff but it's a lot more spacious in here in case someone wants to spend the night and we want to blow up a queen size like air bed. And then these little things were in the closet, but we took them out again. So while we were at at home, Juan loved all of the gnomes that we saw there. So he insisted on getting some. This is going to be replaced in July for the little gnome we have already in the front. And then he also got a little gnome sign for 4th of July that he has already put at the front of our front door. And then the last main purchase, aside from some junk food at, at home, was um, Aubrey, well, I thought the pillow was really cute, but then Aubrey insisted on getting it. And she kind of, I, I don't know if it was already kind of broken, but then like a little thing fell off. So then I kind of felt like, well, we should buy this because it's possible that we might've broken it. So. It's kind of like Juan was like, it's like a memory of this little outing. So let me go show you this. It's an outdoor pillow, but she insists on having it in her room. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. Don't make me put my foot down. Little flamingo. My mom's gonna give me grief. We left the tags on. She, uh, Aubrey claimed it too quickly before we could cut anything off. So anyways, that's her little favorite 
purchase from our trip. So anyways, those are kind of the little updates of our house and just kind of what's been going on. I will insert a clip here of what the ceiling looks like when it gets painted, hopefully today. I'm not sure if the guy is running late or if he's just not gonna show up, but um, if he doesn't show up, you won't be seeing a clip. But anyways, uh, I'll fill you guys in on everything else and other progress that we make in a future video. So if you guys are new here and just stumbling upon my channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe and stick around and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.